the Small Space Tai Chi workshop. I'm really excited to introduce this workshop um, because so many of us have been exercising at home, and at home we just don't have a lot of space. And for things like Tai Chi, where if you have learned Tai Chi and you've been learning forms, you need a lot of space. And especially in the winter time, where um, it might be too cold to be outside, hard to adjust what you may have learned uh, in your forms to be able to do inside. So this is a new form that was developed just a few years ago in China, and it's slowly making its way across um, the US as well. Um, I, I learned it from Master Ai Ping um, a couple of years ago when she went over to China and um, she, she, she uh, learned of it and then she taught it to me. It is this wonderful little form that gives an introduction to basically the the things that are the underlying elements of Taiji. Taiji can get really complicated because you have different styles. So you may have heard there's Yang style Taiji, Chen style, Sun style, Wu style, so many other styles. And then there are different lineages. So you see people do it and it's so different. It gets confusing. Um, and this form is trying to get down to the underlying energies and the things that are in every single lineage and every single style. So this form is called Ba Fa Wu Bu. Ba is the number eight. Fa means like methods or techniques. Wu is the number five. Bu is steps. Um, I like to call this form, I like to translate this form in English as eight energies, five directions, because the eight methods are about the eight energies. So every single Taiji lineage style is comprised of different energies expressed a little bit differently, going into one of five directions, forward, backwards, left, right, or center. And um, this form is not too difficult to learn, and it doesn't take a lot of space. So all you need is to be able to step two steps forward, two steps back, two steps to the side, and you can do this form. And it introduces these energies, and it also shows you how you can express them a little bit differently um, so to understand the different styles. So it's a wonderful introduction to Tai Chi. And this form is actually now the current uh, new standard for new students learning Tai Chi in China. So very, very excited to introduce this form to everyone. Um, so before I teach it, why don't I give you a little demonstration? So if you've never seen it before, you can take a look to see um, what it looks like and then we are going to do it together so so let me give you a little demonstration of the eight energies um, five directions the ba fa wu bu form the first part of the form is stationary The first energy is Pong. It's this outward expansive energy often called ward off. Second energy is Lu. Roll back. Third energy is Ji. Press. Fourth energy is An. Push. Fifth energy is Tai Pluck. Sixth energy Lie Split. Seventh energy Zhou Elbow. And the eighth energy Kao Shoulder. Repeats on the other side. Pong.
Nee. Gee. An. Tai. Lie. So. Oh. Now those were all expressed nice and slow and even. Now when we add in the directions with our feet, we can also express the energies a little differently. The first two, pong, forward, is nice and slow and even. goes backwards all so even and slow gee now goes to the left with a faster movement and also goes to the left And then repeat G and N to the right. Tai backwards. Another Tai backwards. Via. Forward. Lie. Forward. So to the right. Call to the right. So to the left. Call to the left. Ding is center. That's the fifth energy. I mean the fifth direction. And that is the form. So not too difficult. Not too many complicated movements, but you can get a sense that you can have the same energy expressed differently. And, you know, when you learn Tai Chi, a lot of times you're learning Tai Chi forms where in the form they have movements that somebody choreographed a certain energy expressed in a certain way, moving in a certain direction. Um, but what makes that up is still the underlying energy. So this is a wonderful little form where you can see how, for example, this G energy that we did slowly can also be expressed quickly. And it's the same energy, just expressed differently. And we can combine, actually, any energy in any direction and express it um, in different ways. And then that's what makes up the different movements and also what are the ingredients to the different lineages and the different styles. So um, that's like a little introduction of this form. So uh, let's get started so you can learn this form. And we'll start with stationary. So I will be your mirror. So I will call your side. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip my camera around to make it a little bit easier for me to teach. Um, okay, so let's get started. In Taiji, 
preparation is just as important as the movement. So no matter what form or style you are practicing, start with your feet together. Shoulders relax, hands drop down, and very important, there's a point on the top of your head called the Bai Hui point. And what you want to imagine is you are suspended from this point, like you're hanging from this point. So there's a lift up right at this point. But tuck your chin under. Don't let your chin come up. Tuck your chin under. Every other part of you is down, but this point stays up. Try to relax your mouth, tongue up to the roof of your mouth, relax your face, maybe a little smile, and try to relax. So, feet together, shoulders dropped, bend your knees, step out with your left leg and shift your weight to the middle. Keeping your shoulders relaxed, inhale up and let the breath come into your hands and fingers up. Exhale down, soft bend in your knees, come down. So we're keeping our legs stationary, but you're going to turn from your hips, lift up your left hand, turn, uh, lift up your right hand, turn to the right, Left hand is on the bottom, holding the ball. Pong, turn to the front. Let the right hand come up to your chest. Left hand comes up to your chest, right hand drops down. Go and face the left corner, fingers turn up. Letting the palms turn around. Letting the arms drop as you turn back over to the right. Shoulders relaxed. Come and turn back to the front and let your hands come together. Your right hand supports the left wrist. Ji. Press the hands forward. The palms turn down, shoulder width apart. Just let it withdraw, turn to the right corner. Press down, turn the face forward, let the hands push out and turn to the left corner. And it's like your hands are formed around two thick ropes, loose fists. Let yourself turn to the right corner and let the hands come with that turn. Tai. Open the palms and let the fingers point back. Both palms face out. Let yourself turn around. Lie. Your left hand forms a fist by your waist. Turn to the right and let that left arm right under the elbow come into your right palm. Now, your right palm turns into a fist. Your left fist turns into a palm. Turn to the left and press the fist down. Call. Do it to the other side. Let me come a little closer so you can get a clearer view. You don't need to see my feet here. Feet are shoulder width apart. Weight stays down the middle. Holding the ball, left hand is on top, facing the left corner. Pong, right hand comes up to chest, left comes down. Lu, turn to the right corner, let both palms turn around. Turn to the left, let the hands drop down. Turn to face front and let the palms meet. Supporting the right wrist, G. Hands shoulder width apart. Withdraw, turn to the left. Press down and bring it forward. And 
turn to the right corner, loose fists. It's like your hands are formed around a rope, a thick rope. Tie, turn to the left corner. Open the palms, point them back, both palms face out. Keep your arms curved, turn to the right. Yeah. Right hand forms a fist at your waist. Turn to the left and let that right arm right under the elbow come into your left palm. So now this is the tricky part. That left palm turns into a fist. The left fist turns into a palm and it comes to the outside. That palm supports the elbow as you turn to the right and drop that fist down. Call. So let's do that again. Those eight energies stationary, holding the ball to the right. Right hand is the top of the ball. The ball is just the size of a basketball in front of your body. Not too close, but also we're not holding a brick. Notice the tension in your shoulders and elbows. Drop them down, sink them down, sink your elbows down as far as you can without collapsing your armpit. So when you feel like your armpit's closing in, that's too much, but let them relax. So you're holding this ball right in front of your torso, body turns to the right. Pong. Let the palms turn around. Left palm faces down, right palm turns up. And keep the hands in this position as you come around. Right palm is still palm up, left palm is still palm down. Supporting your left wrist. G forward. Withdraw, turn to the right. Press down and push turn to the left corner loose fist in line like you are holding something in a line turn to the right tie and just let the hands follow open the palms fingers point back palms face out don't collapse your elbows here. Rounded. Palm, both palms face out. Shoulders drop. Just rotate and let the hands follow along. Left hand forms a fist by your waist. Just drops down. So turn. Elbow strike here. Right palm turns into a fist. Left fist turns into a palm. It comes around the outside. Palm supports the elbow. Turn to the left. Fist comes down. All right. And again, left side. Pong. Turn the palms around. Just let the arms relax. Turn the face forward. Supporting the right wrist. G. Turn, withdraw the hands. Down and forward. And turn to the right corner. Like holding the around something between your hands. Tie. Open the palms. Turn the fingers back. Shoulders relax. Arms curved. Turn. Lie. Right hand forms a fist by your elbow. Turn to the left. So, elbow strike. 
Left palm turns into a fist. Right fist turns into a palm. Palm supports the crook of that elbow. Turn to the right. Call. All right, and then we're going to do it again without stop. Turn to the right, holding the ball. Pong. G. And Tai Li So Call. Now you should already be facing the left. Hold the ball at the left, left hands on top. Pong. Lu. Ji. An. Tai. So Cow. All right. So those are the eight methods, the eight energies. So we practice that stationary just to get a feel and hopefully you got to feel that even though you were stationary, as you turned into the movements, you even felt it all the way down into your feet. Because the power in Tai Chi is not in our muscles. It's actually from what we draw out of the ground and bring it up through our feet, up our body that we express out our hands. So hopefully you kind of felt that a little bit as we were turning and moving this energy around you actually even felt it in your feet so that's what we're going to do as we move now with it because now each of these energies will be paired with a direction and um and the first two are going to be um, familiar with what we just did because it's the same even slow pace so I'm gonna show you we just finished um, the uh, after we did the uh, call so now we're going to hold the ball so open up your right foot to face the corner and then the right hand is going to circle up to hold the ball and bring your feet together now we're going to do Pong with a forward walk. So your left foot's going to come forward. And then you're going to shift your way forward. Pong. And you're going to come back just a little bit and open up that left foot so it angles out to the corner. Shift your weight. Feet together holding the ball. That left hand should still be on top. Right foot steps forward. Pong. And then now the second energy, Lu. So stay forward and just turn to the right, just like what we did stationary. Let the palms turn. But now shift your weight back. All your weight goes into your left leg and let that right foot be empty. And then step that right foot back. And the arms come up, and then we do it to the other side. Right? So let's practice those two uh, the pong and the lu, those two energies. Pong forward, 
Lu backward, but nice and soft and slow and even. So we're circling the arms. Right hand is the top of the ball. Left hand's the bottom of the ball. Feet together. Left foot steps forward. Pong. And then turn to the left corner. Left hand stays on top. It forms the top of the ball. Right foot steps forward. Pong. Now keep your weight here. Just turn to the right. Let the fingers come up and turn around. Weight shifts back. Let the arms drop. Turning to the left. Lu. Right foot comes back. Bringing the hands up and then sit back and turn. Let the hands drop down. Lu. Now we go into the third energy, Qi. Bring the palms together. Your left foot is going to step out to the left. And you're going to shift your weight and bring that back leg in and press the hands out. G press. Shift your weight back. Let both palms face up. Turn to the right and let the hands kind of open up a bit. And then drop your elbow, turning back to the left. Fingers point up. Left foot, step. And then shift your weight and the back foot follow step forward as your hands press and Shift your weight back. Turn to the right. Let the hands come together. Shift your weight back to the left. Right foot now steps out to the right. And left foot comes in and hands come forward. G. Sit back. Both palms turn up. Let them open as you turn. And then turn back. Dropping the elbows. Fingers point up. Right foot steps and then, and press forward. The back foot takes a follow step up. All right. So this is a little bit trickier because your feet have this follow step that wasn't in the first two. So just going to kind of go into this follow step. Notice that the expression of these two energies are different. Different from what we did for the first two movements and also different from each other. So this first uh, in the G, what we're trying to do, like imagine we're drawing energy and power from the ground. So like almost feel like there is this force, this energy that your foot is sucking up and it's getting sucked up into your body and then it's all in your body accumulating up and then it all comes out of your hands not because you're pushing with your hands but because it just all leaves because it's coming out from your feet out of your hands so it's this energy where it's you feel this like in, if you imagine in your head, your back foot is heavy and then the energy needs to leave your body and it's going to leave your body by coming out of your hands. That's kind of what you imagine. That is the G. But then the N is a different energy. We're opening up, letting the elbows drop. And then here it is still soft. The back foot is just going to follow along and come forward. All right, so in both, the back foot follows, but they express the energy a little bit differently. All right, so let's practice those two, the G and the N. Now, we're going to go and step left with the G. So when I say support your wrist, what I mean is they are facing each other. Our joints are really weak. So in Taiji, we want to give support to our weak joints. So our wrists are very weak. So the other palm supports that joint here. 
So that's the position for the hands and it's right in front of our chest. So your left foot is going to step out to the left and you're going to express that energy out of your hands. G. Press. And the weight shifts back. Both palms turn up. Turn to the right. Let the hands open. Drop the elbows and then turn back to the left. Left foot steps. Back foot follows in the end, the push. Weight shifts to the right. Turn. Let that left foot turn around. Now, right foot steps up. And that left foot comes forward. Express the energy out in the G. Weight shifts back. Palms turn up. Turn to the left. Let the elbows drop. Turn to the right. Right foot takes a step up. Back foot follows in the N. All right. Now we're going to do all four energies together. Pong, Lu, Ji, N. Pong, forward step. Lu, backward step. Ji, left step. N. Ji and N, left step, and, and then repeat right step. All right. So we're going to start. Right foot angle to the corner. Right hand, top of the ball. Left hand, bottom of the ball, holding the ball. Left foot steps forward. Pong. And then turn to the left corner. Hold the ball. Left hand is the top now. Right foot steps forward. Pong. And turn, fingers come up, turn them around. Lu, come back, let the arms relax. Right foot steps back, the hands come up. Lu, turn to the right, let the arms come down. Left foot steps to the left, and G, forward. Weight shifts back, turn the palms, open them up, drop the elbow. Left foot steps. And follow step N. Weight shifts back, turn. Hands in the G position. Right foot steps to the right. G. Sit back, turn the palms, face up. Turn to face that right side. Right foot steps up. Left foot follow step N. Now, Moving to Tai, weight shifts back. Turn to face the right corner. Imagine you're holding like a thick, thick rope between your hands. Backward step with Tai. Weight shifts back and turn to the left. Tai. Now, right foot back. Tai to the right. Lia, turn the palms to face out, fingers point back, right foot, heel forward, very important, open up that leg so that the foot angles out, and then shift your weight forward, Lia, turning to the left, and right heel comes forward, let the fingers turn to face back, Open up that foot. Shift your way forward. Leah. So the Leah, it's a position like this where the palm, one palm is actually directly in front of your chest. The fingers point in the same direction. And you want to imagine a circle space here. So when we did it stationary, like this. So notice 
there's actually no arm waving. We're just holding it still. The power in Tai Chi is not in our body's muscle movements. We're actually trying to just go to that pure energy without dissipating that energy. If you move extra, you actually make that power a lot weaker. So if you just stay totally still and relax and don't move your arms at all and just let it turn, there's a power here from the stillness that you lose if you add extra movements to it. So that's what we are trying to do with our legs because once we add the leg motion, the power is intensified, but don't dissipate it by waving your arms. Like, so this is where um, there's a distinction. Taiji isn't dance. In dance, we wave our arms. Taiji, we don't. We want to just tap into that pure power and energy that we get from the ground. So let's do just the via, because I want you to feel that. So open up the leg, shift the weight, and just let the arms follow along. And then other leg, turning the fingers back, open up that foot, shift your weight, and just let the arms follow along. All right, we're going to do Tai and Lia. Left foot comes back. Shift your weight back. Tai. Right foot comes back. Sit back. Tai. Palms face out, fingers point back. And the right foot comes forward, shift your weight, Lia. Right heel comes forward, turn the fingers back, open that foot, shift your weight forward, Lia. <laughs> all right, now we are bringing all six of these energies together, right? Facing the corner. I'll come up a little higher. Facing the right corner, right hand's the top of the ball. Left foot steps forward. Pong. Come back, turn, shift your weight, and another step forward with your right leg. Pong. And Lu. Come back. Right foot comes back. Lu. And left foot steps out left. G. Sit back, open the palms. Drop the elbow, left foot steps forward. Follow step. And weight shifts back, turn to the right side. Right foot steps. G. Sit back, palms turn up, and face the right side. Step, right side, follow step, and weight shifts back, turn to the right corner. Left foot steps back, Tai. Right foot steps back, Tai. Palms face out, fingers back, left foot steps Forward, open up, Lie. Right foot comes forward, fingers point back, Lie. Now we move into the next one. Left foot comes by your right heel. Right, shift your weight to your left. Right hand forms a fist by your waist. Right heel steps out. You're gonna shift your weight and Bring your arm into your palm. So, and then you're gonna step again to the right and drop the wrist down. Call. The 
energy is expressed out here in your shoulders. So these are elbows and shoulders. Now, turn to the left corner. Left hand forms a fist. Weight shifts into your right. Your left toe is up. Now, you're going to shift your weight into your left. You're going to turn to the right and you're going to do the elbow strike. So, left foot steps out. Shift your weight down. Call. And then it ends. Hands separate. Bring your right foot in, shoulder width apart. Shift your weight into your right leg. Left hand and left foot come up. Golden rooster standing on one leg move. Ding. Right down the center. And then we switch. Feet shoulder width apart again. Hands crossed. Open them up, shoulder width. And then hands come down, body comes up. Left foot comes in, feet together is the end of that form. I, so we'll review. So and call. So the stationary part of the move is actually, I think, more complicated than with the foot mo movement because we're not doing the switching that a lot of people get confused by. So this is we shift the weight in and the foot follows. So the foot follows in. So, so it's like that energy is in a turn, bringing it in. Elbow. And then just step out. And then sink down, call. And the energy is here in the shoulder. Now, sit back. And then left hand's in the fist. And we do the same thing to the other side. The right foot's going to follow in. So, so we're turning over to the right and then left foot steps. Call. And then the hands separate. The right foot comes in shoulder width apart. And then you shift your weight into your right. And then left hand and foot up. Down. Right hand and foot up. And cross your hands and down. We always end coming back feet together. So Taiji comes from a philosophy. Uh, there is a separation of yin and yang. So that's the yin yang philosophy. So in the form, we start in wuji, stillness, no movement. And then we separate to Taiji, and it's continuous, constant movement until the end of the form when we come back to Wuji. All right, so let's go and do the whole thing again. So we're going to do it with stationary and then with the legs because this form incorporates um, both. So we'll come and do the whole thing again, feet together. Remember, preparation, just as important. Feel yourself centered, even, vertical, by hui point, top of your head up, chins tucked, shoulders down. Bend your knees. Step out, left leg, shoulder width apart. Shift your weight to the middle. Inhale up, hands come up. Exhale down, hands come down. Turning to the right corner, right hand becomes the top of the ball, holding the ball. Pong. Lu. Relax. Ji. And. Tai Lee So Ka 
后。Left hand's the top of the ball, facing left. Pong. Lu. Ji. An. Tai. Lie, so, cow. Circle the arms. Open up that right foot to face the corner, holding the ball. Right hand is the top of the ball. Left foot steps forward. Pong. Turn to the left corner. Right foot steps forward. Pong. Lu, sit back. Right foot steps back. Lu. Hands together. Left foot steps out. Left. G. Left foot steps left again. Follow step. N. To the right side, right foot steps. G. N. Sit back. Turn into the corner. Right hand is on top. Left foot steps back. Tai. Right foot steps back. Left hand is on top. Turning to the right. Tai. Left foot steps forward. Open up that foot. Lie forward. Right foot steps forward. Open up that foot. Shift way forward. Lie. Right hand forms a fist. Left foot steps out. Follow in. Zo. Right foot steps out. Kao. Weight shifts to the back. Left hand forms a fist. The right foot's gonna follow in. Zo. Call. Separate the hands. Right foot comes in shoulder width apart. Shift away to the right. Ding. Left hand, left foot up. Switch. Right hand, right foot up. Cross the hands in front. Separate. Hands come down. Body comes up. Left foot comes in. Feet together, and that is the end of the Pa Fa Wu Bu form.